Back this way. And it's all spread the water. <coughs> spread the water, folks, share around. It's only about twenty it's only about 20 of us so far, but there's a good crowd down at the final destination. So, can you let everybody know that my other live stream is gone? It's done and dusted, it's over. Yeah, uh, I'm back on this one now. If you can spread the word for me, folks, thank you. How much down to the final destination? A few. Yep. <coughs> a few. So, enough? Enough, enough to cause enough noise. Yeah. This is just here we are now, folks, down around town. All right, the lads back there. These are all. Uh, these are all with us as well. It's about 20 so far. A nice day. will uh, stroll through town, you know. Come over here now, and I'll. Uh... <coughs> the old ducks. The Hilton Garden Inn. I wonder if um, I wonder if they're uh, I wonder if they're housing any wonderful guests. I There's the old Jeannie Johnson. <laughs> Do you know when we get there, hey? <laughs> Is that the 17 in this so far? Thank you very much. That's not what we found on soil. Them fucking beaten beeps. Have a new one. Sorry folks, I was just sending a message there. But uh, uh, this is where we are. Where is everybody? There's the small little crowd back there. <laughs> that wasn't a bus louder than we might think. Hey, take a trip over this side, shall we? This side of the road. Where's my little cousin now? He's gone on a wander, is he? There he is over there. Look him at the bus, at the blade and yoke. <laughs> Look at these folks, okay? Look at the boats. Look. Okay. Isn't that cute cool looking, isn't it? Yeah, oh my god, oh my god, thanks very much. The boat was cool looking, isn't it? Not as cool looking as this bus, but look at this one. <laughs> that one goes in the water or not, though, is that deadly? I must actually bring me on to on that one of the days. Let's see if we can see inside this little door here, will we? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder will the uh, immigrants be going into that boat? Yeah, they think we're historians. Historians? <laughs> yeah, we're on the right side of the history. <laughs> Deep water. <coughs> no, yeah, no way. Uh, <laughs> The videos don't always be serious, serious, but yeah, you know yourself, there's four wonderful guests there to see them. You know, but uh, I'd like to do a bit of soy scene as well. Let, let, uh, where's Veronica? Is Veronica and all still following us, are they? Yeah, 
we're on the gate and all this following us if uh they probably they probably see they probably see how cold that water is for themselves one day <laughs> probably afraid of the water probably don't even know where the wash is the scruffy cunt <laughs> we're on the way and we're on the one road thing in the one load we're on the road to God knows where I was about to drop it where we were going there. <laughs> so, uh, we're not honesty folks, right? Like this all this nonsense needs to stop because <coughs> like at the end of the day, look like, like your man to the day telling me he's from Palestine and he actually told me he was walking in the Hilton as a chef. He then he told me he was he was in this country three months. But yeah, he told Adrian and Jeremy he was in the country nine months. So you know when you have our own lying and dying on the street, you just have to uh, just have to let them know that we know that the likes of airports, etc., are complicit in Glorified human trafficking, in my opinion, that is. If you look up the definition of human trafficking, yeah, that's the one. NGOs have to go. NGOs have to go. Well said, well said. We had to throw me off what I was saying there, you fucker. You. Um, what was he saying? Someone remind me what I was saying there. Volume 1? What? Is there a photo of Volume 1? Yeah. I don't know, probably. Someone remind me what I was just talking about there. Chef, oh yeah, your man. Your man that told me he was walking. He was walking as a chef. That he was in that hotel three months. But then he told me that... Uh, he told Adrian and Jeremy, opinions matter, that they were there for nine months. But uh, yeah, the human... The human trafficking. Yeah, if you look up the definition of human trafficking, it's exactly what these TDs and this government is doing. You know, they're making vast amount of money from moving people around the country illegally. So, you know, it is what it is. So, it needs to stop. They want generations of their family to live in wealth for generations upon generations but yet they want oh, go ahead but they want generations upon generations of our families to suffer in poverty and uh, it's not going to happen anymore the good yeah, Irish people are going to make sorry what's that you're looking for what that the yeah. bridge this bridge lifts up now you think it's for what the, the bridge it lifts up oh fuck. my cunt <laughs> but um, stop charity donations for any of them you think are suspect. Stop everything for all of them. Holy fuck. Alright, Mars Bar, how are you getting on? Stop charity donations. I already read that. Any pork sauce just being harassing? <laughs> any. <laughs> no, unfortunately. Right, but saying that. Yeah. A little bit turned there, but not as much as they could, or maybe they should. Oh, it did not. Yeah, no, look at the usual. Everybody knows the usual ones for every Saturday on TPO 140. Or just going on a stroll. See where we end up. So, here are all them over there on the boat. They're gonna start hitting the water now in a minute. Like Veronica, if she keeps annoying me. <laughs> we're, we're just at the, the no, sorry, not at the IFSC, we're outside the convention centre. Look at that. Isn't that cool, isn't it? And now it's only over a couple of weeks ago we met with our mental health group, inspiring to be brave. If anybody is uh, struggling with their mental health around, drop the page a message. Ross, who set it up, gentleman, very good friend of mine. 
I'd, I had me an out. Well, to be honest, they had me an out in a couple of weeks themselves. There's a lot going on, but it's an absolutely amazing group of people. All we um, that just literally just get out and walk and talks once a week. Go for a coffee, go for a chat. Predominantly around town because that's where he lives. But he does travel. We do travel, you know. Uh, we've been out to Port Marnock a couple of times. We've been out to Dolly Mount. So if anybody, like I said, is struggling with their mental health, drop the page, inspiring to be brave, a message. And if you want, you can be added into the WhatsApp group. I think there's 40 or 50 people in it. And uh, it's literally 24 hour support and care. But I just so brought that up because that's where we met the last time, just at the, uh, at the convention centre there. So, like I said, anybody struggling with mental health, um, yeah, drop the page a message and we'll see what Ross can do with you. It's always people who use this to breathe. It's always not happening. There's another boat here. Look at another boat on rep, uh, boat. The boat bar and restaurant. Dublin's floating restaurant and bar on the River Liffey. Be floating all right, you'll be floating with them migrants, get it. Because you know that's what uh, that's what's being earmarked for them now as well, folks. Fucking cruise ships and all that stuff, yeah, boats and all. It's madness, isn't it? Wasn't well, that cool looking? Anyone asking uh, donations and all that stuff, I don't have a PayPal, I don't have a Revolut, I don't have a GoFundMe or anything. I'm not in, I'm not in it for the money. Um, I'm just in it to let people know what's going on, you know. Although I could deal with the money, don't get me wrong. I, I, I won't accept money off anybody because, like I said, I'm not in it to make money. I'm just here to get the good uh, the news out to the good Irish people because RTE, Virgin Media, um, they found the body there in Thursday night. Yeah, I think that was my friend's body, Damon Walsh. Um, yeah. I actually meant to say that, actually, Damon, brother, you're up there now. Damon was a fella that struggled with drugs, folks. He was from Darndale. He's a very good friend of mine. I actually only bumped into him a couple of weeks ago at the spire there when I was heading out to Fingless. I was actually supposed to link up with him again. And to be honest with you, as bad as this is, I forgot all, I forgot all about it. Um, yeah, so I'm almost sure that that's his body that you were on about there. That was found to the night. So, um, there you go. I love you, I miss you, brother. Um, I know you're up there in that sky. You're out there. You're out of you're your misery now. And you're back with your, you're back with your mum. You know? But, uh, sorry, give me a minute. Rest in peace, brother, yeah? Um, yeah, look at so it is what it is. But like someone said there a minute ago, hold on. Uh, they found what you do, Kevin? Kevin, <laughs> too many bleeding Kevins. Why did he want so many come? It's just, it just doesn't make sense. No, you're right, Kev. It doesn't make sense. And the fact that they're being put up in all these, uh, the fact that they're being put up in all these army barracks. Is another cause for concern. As you seen Phillips, uh, Philip? <laughs> As you seen Phillips' video the other day, uh, Corporal Tuggan. I won't call him Tuggan. I call him Tuggan. You seen the way he acted. But what was more scary about that whole instance was um, there was an unknown foreign national guarding the gate to, the, to an active army barracks. So that's the that's the um, that's the scary part, folks. When you have like unknown foreign men. Excuse me. Excuse 
Russian, when you have unknown foreign men guarding the gates, the active Irish army barracks, it's a great uh, cause, cause of concern, yeah? Absolutely. You know? But, uh, like Kev was saying, I don't know. In my opinion, genuine, my opinion, I've been saying that months now. I'd say that's the new, it's the new UN army. And in my opinion, they're here to try and enforce harsher lockdowns and stuff like that when our government, um, when our government want to push us back into harsher lockdowns, harder lockdowns. Um, these new UN soldiers, these new UN soldiers will have no connection to the Irish people. Now I know the Guard already have no problem with them. Um, they have no problem with smashing their heads in. Smashing their heads into the ground or whatever. Look, there's my little cousin Sean. Starting out on his little journalism gig. Say hello, Sean. How are you? You alright? Yeah. So if it's all go actually on to us. What's your YouTube, Sean? Uh, the truth. Is it? Wait, we drop his uh, we drop the the truth, the truth IRE. Yeah, all, right. all together, one word, the truth IRE. He has a video up there where uh, he interviews a Turkish man yesterday outside the Department of Housing who said he came here with no passport and um, and he, he, he uh, fled Turkey because he was going to be arrested. So, only 14 folks. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's way ahead of his time and he's a potential he's future leader of this country, potentially. So, he's on. What's your TikTok as well, Sean? Uh, the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. Yeah. And give him a follow, boys and girls, and ladies and gents, because he's a good kid. He's a good kid. I thought he was everybody, did we? No. If you here, I just subscribe. Thanks very much, people. Thanks very much. You know, our demo. It, 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 it's a bit of a weird one when it comes to the, when it came to Damo. You know, he, he loved his drugs, but he also hated them at the same time because they destroyed his life. He was addicted. He couldn't get um, couldn't get help, basically. You know. Yeah. And that's what it is. Just said that said that we we got a college screen the University of Facebook. Oh yeah, of course you did. Yeah, of course. And we have another fella here, Richard Spitty Max Spitty, a clown. I tell you what, you know where we are. Absolutely feel free to come and approach us if you'd like. You know, so feel free. The Instagram is Kevin Morgan. Uh, you probably need to put in the initials K A J C D B C. You don't need look at people here people here giving me little cousin stick in his TikTok saying we got our, we got our degree in the University of Facebook. Listen, <laughs> you don't need a degree. You don't need a PhD to recognise there's something seriously wrong in this fucking country. So to use uh, to all the people that are basically sitting on their arse, giving a 14 year old young play stick who's trying to stick up for his family, his community. And his future, because it's his future that's uh, it's his future that's at stake here, folks. It's all the kids, uh, it's all the kids' futures. So that's why we do it. You know, I think um, I think you can probably guess where we're going to now. But I'll show you some more. Uh, I'll show you some more beautiful scenery instead of looking at this bleeding nightmare on the screen. What? <laughs> Isn't it so peaceful though, isn't it just to see a bit of sea? Like it's no mad what like a video with the water and all those way, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's remember the program that used to be on the telly, Sun Sea and uh, oh well, what was it? Sun Sex and Suspicious. And you just remember that? And the air ones and the outfits used to go away and spy on them and make a holy shit. Oh stop. Remember that? I swear now, man, my mother dad ever did that to me, I'd kick the fucking shit out of them, I would tell you now. Sun T, uh, or Sun Sex and Suspicious Parents. Remember that. Oh, you actually don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, 
Nee, daar pop ik de mooie hete. Maar look waar we ook zit. Oei, oei, de tree arena. Was yeah. dat nou niet zo'n big aan in deze dag, nou? Oh, Jouk was actually on a couple of weeks ago, on a pellet car. Pellet car MMA. Who's that that says, yes, lol? <laughs> you know, you know the gig with that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 100% Chinese. It's, uh, it is beautiful. You know what I mean? Now, the, <laughs> the colour could be a bit nicer. <laughs> it looks a bit dirty. Ew, dirty. Ew. But, uh, no, it's mad like the way. Look, look over there. The steps and all, look at Like if I lived around here, like I'd be coming down here all the time, man, because it's... Yeah, that's it. Curtin spoiled on that kids for the week abroad. <laughs> the point. Elton John. Elton John, see not dead? Yeah, the point that for us all. Yeah, the point. <laughs> the point. And to be honest with you, that's all. That's all I know it as, as well. Yeah, the point. But there's the Joel's Towers bush going down there. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the old point, the old point depot. <laughs> that's what it is, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, what are we, are, is this the final destination? Okay. No, this is not the final destination. I think it's going to meet up here, build a little crowd. And build a little crowd and then down to over. Right, lovely. Could be in the front of that building. Not yeah. Sure. The point here that watch wrestling in the years go, yeah, save us, we self, 100%. <laughs> Remember the fucking bleeding, who would have been back then? The Undertaker and Kane and fucking Triple H and the Big Show and all them, yeah, remember them? Fucking Sean Archer way here now, aren't we? Fuck's sake. <laughs> but listen, I think it's now where the final destination is at now. Keep those piggies on their toes. Keep their piggies on their ones and twos, the threes and fours. Because they have a good. So we still have all the others still having to come and all, don't we, sir? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's Welcome to Northwall. Northwall says no. Refusnik. What? I don't know. Oh. Oh, what's her name? What's her name again? It's hard to see the back one now. Let's give her a whistle. Linda is here, she says. Linda is here? Yeah. Where are they? Yeah, they might be round the front of that room in there. That's now your mommy's name. Just whistle her now, she's long gone. They're probably at the other end of that lane they are, yeah? yeah. Kaki! Can we head over? Bags, We're at the front, he said. At the front. That's yeah. mine. Look, me flag wrapped in the flag. That's it. Adam, come here. That's my yeah. Uh, that's my bag. I asked, I asked this fella here, and I'm with me. Buy clothes, probably. He says yeah. I'll, I'll have you on the fucking screen. Look at this, folks. I asked him as me buy clothes. Clothes. And the thing is open. Fucking hell, John. Just as well, there was no pickpockets. Walking behind me through town, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Fuck's oh, sake. Boy, you get out. <laughs> that, listen, hold on. What have you got to say, bro? Boys, we need to start coming out in your numbers. We're down in East Wall today. Every one of us, we're all, everyone from the Irish communities need to start standing together, boys. This is coming out. It's going to get worse over here now. People, just give us support and bring yourselves together. Everybody, stand with each other. That's it, fair play to you, bro. And if you don't know who that man is, folks, that's the man that was on hunger strike outside the GPO. How long were you there for? I was there for two months. There for two months, and what did they do? They came and arrested they and took their tent away and told you not to be loitering. Three of us, they came and arrested us, brought us to court, they did. Done us under, <coughs> that we were loitering on the street, that we were protesting against us. Now, Paul Lennon, he was, he was locked up on it. He's out at the moment. Yeah. Linda Rogers herself. And myself was out, three of us have been done, we've been told we can't go out to protest, we can't do this, but I'll still come out. That's it. I will still stand That's with it. the people of Ireland. That's it. We're out for the kids today, Listen, we're out folks. for everybody. We the stand George, together. We stand together. We all we stand, stand together. And we win together as well. We fight together, we win together, we lose together. 
But this is what it is, folks. The old point depot for all the old schools. You know? So, uh, we've got uh, we meet, we meet the rest of the folks around town now. And, uh, Went to see Simple Minds there in 2015, you'll be 40 to 2016. Yeah, Jesus, hell, Georgie. How are we getting on, George Doody? You well, brother? Haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. Hope you're well and good. Hope you're in good health. Huh? Oh? They're up that way, she said. They're up what? Is there many up there, yeah? Ah, oh, is there? How many is up there? The Odeon? I don't know, Where, where's the Audi in around here? Audi? Yeah, hold that. Hold that, hold that for a second, hold that for a second. Is that the point somewhere? Where's the Audi in around here? Uh, How's all that? Ah, you hear the beep, the fucking the horn in the Jeep. Who's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, we forgot this. He's a handsome chap, isn't he? Yeah, hey, hey. Boys, they're going straight through the lights here. Right. Right. You heard the man. You heard the man. Ah, oh, there's the Audi in there. It is, that was Shani who was holding the camera. It was indeed. Ruby, 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 Ruby! We'll see you later. <laughs> I live in Indonesia, Jesus Christ, that's miles away. I hope you didn't fucking walk from Ireland to Indonesia. Take a long time. Look, see, our man did a day that said he walked from Afghanistan to Ireland. Funny cunt. Where are you going up there? No, but, no, but. Walk, man. He fucking did. He said, how are you walk here? He goes, it took me two years. I walked from Afghanistan. <laughs> he had some blisters on the street, that dude. <laughs> What's down there? Nothing, just. What's on that there? Probably an underground car park, so. Oh, you can't even get in, can you? Can't even let you in. Yeah. Lovely. I bet there'll be, I bet there'll be a few up here. Oh, where are you going? Just. Oh, we thought he was going somewhere else. Good shoes he must have had. Yeah. You know them fucking sandals. The Oaks where you see that big manky blade and smelly black toes now from yeah No. <laughs> tell us international Tell us <laughs> Tell us tell us you <laughs> uh, I know it's not why I'm in good form today folks because I know if I come down here a big aggro head and be angry and this and that I'll only end up shouting and roaring at people and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? So I'm trying to get myself in a giddy humour, man. You no, know, in a good humour, like so. We fucking there. Uh, we bring this place to a standstill, motherfuckers. That's where the Ferris wheel was located. The big wheel. Oh, I'm lost. Are you just having a fucking conversation amongst ourselves in there, eh? Right? Smell of weed, man. I tell you, I'm an ugly fucker, am I? But well, fuck it. What can we do, what? What can you do when you live in a shoe? Tie your lace, get out of your face. Yee Cross over there. Trying to, get, trying to get these to a smack of a car. Cross over there. I'm nearly at the, I'm at the getting caught in the middle of it myself. <laughs> That's all I get for trying to get used to caught in it. 
This fuck was caught in between him and that taxi gang up there I was. Fuck's sake. What are they all doing, mate? What are they doing down there? Whoop, whoop. It's a long way to Afghan. Bet your fucking bollocks it is. And that's boy playing. Never mind boy foot. <laughs> Refuse, Nick Lord, Kevin, you're a handsome lad. Ah, Jesus, I've been called worse than that, me time. Thanks very much. <laughs> a bush load of men, hey, and another bush load of men, and another bush load, and another bush load. Jesus Christ. Look at me getting compliments on you. Woo woo! You won. <laughs> Expert coverage, the man, the impact, that's me. See what they're talking about there, me, expert coverage. Oh, it's not, it doesn't even say expert, it says expect. Fuck's sake, you can tell I didn't go to bleeding school for too long, can't you? Fuck's sake. I had to make the show myself live on YouTube, no way. They all stop down there. Already? Yeah, yeah. Man, I have enough battery in my phone. I'll go back down. <laughs> they're waiting on the. Uh, they're waiting on fucking yoke. Well, here, this is what I am. Look at. I'm chill today. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I'll let the Luke stop it in. Fucking hell. Major flashbacks there when you said that. Whoa. <laughs> but tell you. Not as good as the time I fucking rugby tackled the snowman. What am I? Remember that? <laughs> oh, you tell you. Come over, Gaff. Come over, Gaff. You had to spend an all day building a snowman. It's about 15 years ago. <laughs> All day building a big snowman, the wall, yeah? And I says to myself, uh, go on, say on, say on, thanks. That's twice now. Go on the cross the road nearly happened. Come back across nearly had to happen. But, uh, <coughs> what part of Dublin am I from? Take a guess. Um, I'm after forgetting what I was going to say there. Fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, about 15 years ago, it took her all day to make a snowman. And I was up in the gap and said, I'm rugby tackling that. And I did. <laughs> so I don't know, we haven't been up. What are you waiting here for? I don't know, it's for Are you? Crumlin. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. No. I'll give you a hint, it's north side. Tell us, <laughs> we're back out here, tell us soon, tell us soon. Conference centre, the Gibson Hotel is just down here and round round about to the right. <laughs> Bally moon, don't insult me like that again. I'll find out who we are, I'll take a gaff off the map, fuck's sake. What are you doing right in here? We're waiting on that, boy. Oh, it's gone to shop, are you? Who's saying? Oh, he just came. Oh, oh, nah, saying? someone was saying, have a guess where you live. I was saying, where are you from? I said, have a guess. He said, Bali Moon. I said, don't insult me like that again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Bali Moon, how's the phone, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Coffees and tea. Oh, oh, ah, the, 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 I, I thought you were well, waiting on more people to come. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, well. Yo! Yo! I don't think it's got this! Lock it, yeah, listen, we don't have much time left! Come on! <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock! <laughs> you gotta rock, rock, rock all around the clock! Sorry, what time is this? We haven't got any more sports. 
What I'm what I'm what I'm part of time as it is. He left. He says. He says to them, "Really, we leave a fifty quid down there under the bench for to get you that coffee and stuff." Ah, that's why it's all just swerved off to the left. Didn't even the boy and he was down. We went all miles up the road and turned down like. Where is everybody? Not been. Fuck's sake. But now that's who we are waiting on. We're waiting on the shop heads. <laughs> We're waiting on the shop heads. Oh yeah, living cap. No, don't. You're on the right. You're on the right road at the beginning letter. It's a C anyway. It's a C U later. Oh, you got nukes. What? Straight up here, we're going. You got one off now. I think everybody knows where we are now. Well, 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 Dublin Port, how are you? No, I'm from, I'm originally from Kew, like I am, eh? <laughs> Will you vote Fina fall? Will you give over? Will you? Jesus Christ, I'd rather end my life. <laughs> Fina fall. Why me my ass for anyway, so I can tell who she got for. Do you? Don't know where we die now. Did you say, did you say kill that? Yes, I did. What's the April Field? <laughs> April Field is not, I'm not, like I am from kill that. It's not April Field. It is no joke. Why do you think I'm so fucked up in the head? Because I'm from kill that. Just for anybody come to the uh, port in future. Me too. Who said me too? Jerome. Kulak is the place to be. Yeah, back in 2003. Family that lives. Kulak is Ballymun. No, it's not. Kewlock is badly mown. It's beside. Whoa! See that motherfucker just came out of nowhere and nearly creepy with his bike. This motherfucker. Whoa, 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 who's that handsome guy? And here we are. Kill luck is fox rocks with, kill, what's that say? Kill luck is fox rock with attitude, with ha ha chewed. Cool luck is fox rock with ha ha chewed. Let's not ha ha chewed or you'll be removed. You look like him. Go away, you. <laughs> you look like him. I look like a lot of people, but not him. <laughs> East Wall Road Park Tunnel. The Tall Tunnel. <laughs> the Tear Hill Tunnel. Got a connection to the Cooney family. You know, do we have a connection to the Cooney family? Or do you have? Yeah. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not really. They were them all my fucking. Yeah, just walking the M50 back. The <laughs> family of Yoke. Yeah, no, brother. We walked that M50 back now. No, brother. The guard walked that, that, <laughs> that Jeep there? Yeah, the green one. I know, it is. Yeah, it is, it is. It is, they see us, they see us. How the fuck am I living on this 40 minutes already? 
50 quid if you were called a lefty with an English accent. All right, mate. I'll have that 50 quid, thanks very much. Yeah, I'm with that 50 quid, I've just seen the lefty with an English accent. Oh, oh, oh mate, fucking cunt. Fucking racist bastard. So to hear him calling me racist, I'll have that 50 blips. Oh, Johnny, what you have, have you? Lovely, fair play to you. Hey! All right, here we are. Smart view. Still a few up there, is there more coming? Yeah? Fucking better be. We still we block her off anyway with the amount we have. People we block the road. Huh? We the road. That's I Australian, cat. Yeah, well, it was a bit uh, Australian, a bit English. Yeah, the plane in that fucking car. In my car. Red jacket, red It's better, less bitter. <laughs> Customs broker, come my house, come my shipping. That's Australian. It's Australia, mate. I used to be good at putting on the old accents, you know? But uh, not anymore. Hey, you're doing now, we shut. Oh, I think there's a few, there's a few more coming down from East Law. I think they're coming from the opposite way, yeah? They were Dublin act. <laughs> Fucking cheeky bastard, yeah? Dublin accent. Ninja Noit is a good layoff rag car accent. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Oi! Crowd is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good man, good man. Yeah, cunt. Oh. Hold that for me just so I get the big clothes, the borders run there. Two loyal friends, lovely. <laughs> one face and out, one face and out. Tell them to follow you on this. Yeah, no, you already did. There's, there's 57 people. Then there's like a hundred more. How are you folks? Just close the borders on it. It's not even Gavin all the time, aren't it? But they don't get a few to hold it. Yeah, now wait until everybody else comes and I'm going there onto the road to show, you know what I mean? Where'd you get that? It was left, someone left on the ground down Q Lock when I got arrested last week. So people just thought it was mine, you know what I mean? Well, it was on the Gav and Chloe, it was on the Gav and Chloe and already they said they don't own it. You know what I mean? Say hi everyone, say hi. And we go on a different way because this place can put on lockdown now in a few minutes and more people come. They're just they're coming out that way down there. So <laughs> Yeah, look at this, look at this little sign here, the little kids that yeah, give us a look at that sign there, will you? Hold, uh, hold, hold up, up, hold up, hold up. Beep, I'll be blocked or hold. <laughs> That's it. Beep, beep, beep. I'll be blocked the fucking road. We're out here now and then there's more coming from down this way. Hopefully the police down there. Hopefully the police don't block them. Uh, hey! Where's Ferganol? Huh? Down at the port? Down there, is he? Yeah, no, it's a good crowd here, but Ferg's not. This, this is the front gate here, isn't it? Oh, do, can you go forward or down? I think you can put it off saying, yeah. Best off saying, yeah. It's not how many people they have. 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 It's not how many people they you know? Cool. 
is what it is. The ports, airports, boat ports, all have to know <coughs> that. Um, yeah, it's grand, man. It's grand. But the ports need to know, airports need to know that we know that they're bringing in these men illegally. So they have to be let know that we know. You know? I'm not being funny. Did you see the out the other day? Uh, about the one man, one fella that went in. I'm oh, sorry, he didn't go in. He went through Dublin Airport, come going out of the country with no uh, passport, no documents, no nothing. And they made news, made international news, made news everywhere. But yet there's nothing being said about it, the fact that thousands upon thousands of men are coming into the airport and into Ireland without it. You know what I mean? There was nothing on the news about that. There was no nothing anywhere about it. So, uh, but yeah, it made international news. It made worldwide news when one man done it going through Dublin Airport out of the country. But there wasn't one thing said about the thousands upon thousands of men that, uh, that are coming in. Which is fucking... Like, stuff like that, folks, is just open people's eyes. And for, you know what I mean? For them to say, well, hold on a minute here. What's really going on? The fact that one man done it made international news. Uh, How do you pick that back? Oh. Back to my safe on, on, on his phone? Show, show me, hold on. There, there, there. there, there. Yeah. Oh, do it? Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> good man, good man. You know, he's the one that was camping outside fucking the GPO and all the group. Yeah, and the tent and the police came and fucking the police came and removed it and all, do you know what I mean? So he's gonna get a good following on your yoke now, but they see him on that. <laughs> like that man's there folks. You just know who he is. He was the one that was protesting outside uh, the GPO for a while. And the police made him fucking uh, the police actually tore it down on him. And actually locked them up. <laughs> Put him into custody over it. His mate was there. His mate actually got a sentence over it as well. And uh, his mate got a sentence over it. And now you see, did you ever see that big guard, the van now that's constantly parked outside the GPO? <laughs> that's how he can't. Uh, that's how he can't fucking uh, put his tent there anymore. But yet you have foreigners there camping outside the Holiday Inn and kill lock. You know what I mean? A place that I was told was private property and it couldn't be on the 24th of February. But you have that there. Uh, but you have that chap allowed to fucking protest outside the Holiday Inn. You know, it's uh, a <laughs> it's laugh. But I was saying to the other day, it's looking at me, I think you just got home. Ireland is full, Dublin is full. And I think I have a bit uh, And he was, yeah, he was fine actually. Yeah, thanks very much for that message there. Your man that. Uh, got through the airport with no passport, no documents. I only received a fine. A fine, not even jail, no imprisonment, no nothing. Just a fine. I'm up in court on Thursday, the 6th of April, on three public order charges with the rolls from the arrest in Kewlock protest last week. And I probably get six months for it. Twelve months, whatever, because who I am and we passed and whatever. But, uh, yeah, exactly like you said, it's double standards. Double standards. Can't be one way for us and another for them, you know what I mean? So. No, I'm on about uh, the fella that made his way through Dublin Airport there last week, going out of the country with no passport or anything like that. And he's obviously got caught, but he only received the fine. But it made worldwide news when one person done it. Nothing was said about the thousands that are coming into the airport without them. You know what I mean? They're being given houses, fucking medical cards, with PPS numbers. They're basically being given everything that the Irish have to fucking fight to and hell for. And Spain out of order, it's not, it's, you know what I mean? It's not fair. It's not fair on the Irish people. Oh, Mr. Bed, yeah, 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 Mr. Bedford, I was there. I was actually one, I was the first one to nearly catch him. If it wasn't for the police that got there before me, me and uh, Curtis, I think it was, a fella from Kewlock who um, actually got there 
just after the police got there. You know yourself. But yeah, he was literally jailed. He was bailed the next morning on a simple public order. Uh, oh, not public order, sorry, fucking... Dangerous driving. Yeah, attempted murder with a car. That's exactly what it was, but he didn't get charged with attempted murder. All he got charged with was uh, a simple dangerous driving charge. So he'd probably get suspended sentence over. But if I done that, if I went into a lefty protest and fucking tried to hit people with my car, I'd be, I'd be still in custody now. You know what I mean? But because he's a lefty, he's a so-called left, left head, nothing happened to him over it. So... If I, listen, don't, if I get a fine, man, I'll take the fine. <laughs> I'll take the two or three days in default, that's no problem. <laughs> Trying to take the six months from me. <laughs> you can take the six, you can take the jail from me if you want. <laughs> it's no problem. That's that's something that's tradable. That's negotiable. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm just gonna wait here for a few more minutes. Wait for a bigger crowd to uh, turn up. And uh, Head out onto the road there, see what the gig is. You know? 66 year old man in Cork who happened to be related to Robbie Keynes. What's this? Hold on a minute, where's that check on? Yeah, we'll now, we'll mention the voting and all the gig now in a second. Hold on. <coughs> Nothing more said about the fella that ran over a 66 year old man in Cork who happened to be related to Robbie Keane's wife. Fuck off, when was this? What, who, like, uh, the 66 year old fella that was related to Robbie Keane's wife, was he? Oh, your man that done the, like, the drive boy, the, the hit and run. I didn't hear about that. And maybe that's because why Robbie Keane's involved, that's why we didn't hear about it. Far right equals far wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kev, tell everyone make sure they're ready. Right. Here we go, about the voting gig, eh? I know a lot of people are deregistering the vote. Fair play to But, let's have it say a little something here. It's about oil and forced. I done a little poll on my Instagram the other day. Uh, will Sinn Féin be getting your vote? I think there's 25 or 30 votes on it, all said no. And then I put another one up saying, who will get your vote? Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, Greens, or other. And 25 to 30 votes as well, and 100% for the other. And then I put up the last one saying, who will you vote for? Will you vote for Ireland First? Will you vote for Irish Freedom Party? Or will you vote for the National Party? There's 25 or 30 votes on that. Ireland First came out in first with, I think, it was 63% of the vote. Followed by, I think, it was the National Party in second, and then the Irish Freedom Party in third. <laughs> so, uh, register. Go on to www.irelandforced.ie and um, keep an eye out for locals. Someone in your local area running from Ireland Forced, make sure to give them your vote. Because we won't show you away from the hard questions. We won't show you away from the hard topics. You want the, you want the question answered, we'll answer it. Won't be like Leo or Michal or the rest of the gang who um, who just refuse to, to, to answer you and, if, and refuse to engage in debate. But yeah, just silence and try and call you far right and Nazi and scum and everything else, eh? So, uh, that's all it is. www.orlandforced.ie Give us your vote because Together, we'll help make Ireland great again. 100%, like I said already, anything you want answered. Say, for instance, I got elected, right, to my local area, and you see me walking down the road, and you had a question to ask me. I'd stop and I'd answer your question. I'd talk to you, and I'd see what I can do for you. I won't show you and say, oh, I don't need to speak to you, I don't. That's basically what, like, what Ireland forced are going to be like. You see us on the street, approach us, ask us questions, now, I myself, I probably won't be running, you know, because of obviously personal reasons and other, uh, other reasons, but I'll maybe run next year. 
maybe next, maybe 2024. But um, sorry, for I just had to spit. It's one of my bad. Look, I apologise for all the spitting. It's a bad. Thanks very much. It's a bad habit I have about 20 years, folks. I just can't. But um, yeah, like I was saying about oil and forced, I'm not going to be running this year myself. But hopefully, please God, maybe next year. And um, we'll do what we'll do what we uh, we'll do what we can. People, people, challenge us apart again. But uh, no, we we'll do what we can to to, to put oil and forced. Hence the name, oil and forced. And um, yeah, so we'll we'll try. And I'm not gonna say we'll solve the housing crisis. We'll solve the hospital uh, crisis. We'll solve the mental health crisis. Housing crisis. I'm not sure if I said that. Probably said that first. I'm not saying we're going to solve all that overnight. But what we'll do is we'll chip away at it overnight. You know what I mean? So there's just constantly stuff getting done and done and done. You know, we, we, we won't take days off because at the end of the day, we're behind on time here to sort this country out. We don't have the time to uh, to be leaving house and all this stuff. All right? You up the Amish. <laughs> you up the Amish. There's the man himself. There's a new big banner there. But, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, maybe not this year, but, it's um yeah, like I was saying, we'll chip we'll chip away at it overnight. It won't, nothing's gonna change in this country overnight folks. And just another thing as well, we absolutely certainly will not bend over to the EU. Absolutely not. This is oil and forced and the Irish will go forced. Simple as Yeah, exactly. Exactly, it's a start, you know, it's yeah, exactly. You can't solve everything, but you can solve what you really want. Yeah, now that's what we're saying. We want to solve the housing crisis. We want to solve the hospital crisis. We want to solve mental health crisis. But it will not, it will not, um, it will not be sorted overnight. But that's what I'm saying. We'll chip away at it overnight, every single night. You know what I mean? All these different things, the housing crisis, the this and the that. You know, so we uh, that's what it is, folks. Just give oil and force that vote, and we'll go from there. We'll see how we get on, yeah? Newbridge was there. Yeah. Newbridge wasn't built. I thought that said Newbridge wasn't built in a day. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, that's it. Just the man himself. All right. All good, all good. Good people point the people. We don't have a the outside. Best to have to says, we're going to have to start all the things because we need to start people in and not all the things. That's it, those damn borders. Those damn borders. We have all the stuff here, but once we get ready to go, the little doggy he's a wagon. Hello. No. Yeah. Yeah, Mabel. You're famous. Yeah. Look at the folks over here. Yeah, wagon, isn't he? Look at his eyes. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Look at the boys, look at the guards, hey! Look at the, look at the eyes, look at them eyes. Who's that, Mabel? Mabel, look! Gorgeous, they are. Gorgeous. Hey! Look at them, look at them. Oh, look at them. Look at them eyes. Hey! Loves the attention. Gosh! Like us all. We all, we all love a bit of attention every now and again, don't we? <laughs> See that dog, boys? He's playing you. Beautiful, yeah, yeah, bro. Fucking cracker, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> now he is. Dog's beautiful. It is beautiful. And now I just wait. Now one or two more for Murray, and then we're going to take it and onto the road. Let's see what they get. Let's see what they. Watch. Okay. That's a Michael Kors watch we have on. Michael Kors.
get going here now shortly. You taking the piss, Kevin? Come on. <laughs> we have a few, we have a few friends that go to the joy with you. <laughs> All the fire will be taken over the joy soon enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. What can you do? What can you do? All right, Shani, what are you munching on? Look at this fella, big munchy head. Oh, so what are we doing? Are we taking it out? Oh, what are we doing? I'm a follower, not a leader. Follower, not a leader. Follow leader, 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 follow leader. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not me. I'm just here getting coverage. I know, I follow the leader. I hate the leader. <laughs> oh, see, what, see what being the leader of the uh, group got me years ago. <laughs> jail. <laughs> being the leader of a pack got me jailed last time, so I want no more. <laughs> yeah, now we. What? Where's the. Is, is this not the main entrance? The main entrance is up there. It's up there. It's up there. I always thought it was up there and to the right. That's the left, that's right. Sorry, that's right, that was. I haven't driven down this way. Nah, no, same. I'm going on a little wander. Kelly's plan, East Wall, becoming the East End of London. It's not just the East Wall that's becoming the bleeding East End of London, man. It's fucking there. Uh, it's the whole country, it's the whole of Ireland. The whole of Ireland is uh, becoming like London. For fuck's sake, we can stop. Yeah, now nah, I up there to the right. I think we need, to, we need to come out onto the road and we need to walk up that way. So I'm not going to really, we're not going to get anything. I don't want to get anything standing here. Well, it's just uh, we need to let them know. We need to let Dublin Port and the airport know that that they're complicit in human trafficking. At the end of the day, that's what it is. East End of London, scary place. Haven't been in years, but I'd well imagine. I was in Anga yesterday. Felt like I left the country. I was the, uh, yeah. Same with Dublin City Centre. It's the same with Dublin City Centre folks. The thing is like Beirut. You can't like for every for every 20 foreign accents you hear, you hear one Irish accent. You know what I mean? <coughs> so that's what it is, you know what I mean? I'm gonna get hit by something now, no I am. That's the real shame, obviously. Yeah, no, town, town is, town is fucking, town is finished is my thing, town is gone. It's an absolute shithole town is. Yeah, now we're okay, but I'm happy to do it. And then we'll move on when the guard is Fuck it. That's what we're doing in Drimna all the time. Stand over there at that gate. Yeah, fuck it, go, man. Yeah, isn't it? Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck it. Hold the pace there, kid. Come on, the fuck. These are going to be raids in there, what? Oh look, it's about to, we have to, we can't be just pussy floating around man, we have to let them know that we're not fucking happy. Government and stuff like that. What they're doing, we're not happy, we're not happy. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah, that's, that's our way in. So, right, so after this, after this, eh. Uh, nah, see, look, we should have just done it, we should have just done it then. They are, they are, right after, uh, after this, after this. 
After the scoldy, yeah? After the after the scoldy. No, go, go, go. Go, right now, 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 now. We have his red. <laughs> oh, no, no passport! No entry! 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 No entry! No entry! It's nothing to do with me. No entry. It's nothing to do with me. Fuck all to do with me. I'm not the organizer. I'm not the organizer. I'm just here getting footage. That's it. That's all. It's showing you here now, folks, the traffic. Do you hear your man there? It will be my problem now in a minute when he jumps out. No, but I'll walk back down towards him now in a second. But uh, that's what it is, folks. This is where we are. If anybody's free to join, come along. It's not where we are. That's all on camera. It's all on camera. No entry. No entry. Try it in there. No passport. No entry. No entry. No passport. No entry. No passport. No entry. No entry. Small, small enough crowd, folks. We can get out. Go down there at the port. Come down and uh, show your support. You know, because at the end of the day, Dublin Port are just as much as guilty as Dublin Airport are. So they have to let know. Right, Nels. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Get it on camera. There's women and children there, so be careful. There's women and children there, be careful. So do we. So do we have to go to my kids. We don't want to be here. Get that bitch. Right, watch him, watch. if he doesn't, if he hitches, if he hitches, if he hitches. Watch him. Yeah, we all have to go home. We don't want to be here. Beep, 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 beep. What? Exactly. None of us want to be here. Dublin Port. Dublin Port are just as complicit as Dublin Airport are. That's what has to be done. Has to be done. Get the red. He has the red. He has the red. He has the red. He has the red. Folks, if you're down around here, come down and give us support, yeah? That's all we have to do. Come down and show support. You have another aggro head here. That's it, fair play.
Listen, those people saying that oh, we're going to the match, we're going to be late. Well, I don't give a fuck if I'm going to the match. Simple as. Simple as. I don't care if I'm going to the match. What are you doing? Why? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Huh? He's alright. He's alright. He's actually been clapping for us, fair play. Too. Was he? Where are you all going? No entry! 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 Right, 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 right. Oh, here we have a cord. Is that a cord of travel? It is, it is. Here we have a cord of travel bus coming down. So, bully boys in the cars. Yeah, but listen, though, they don't do it. Do you know what I mean? Tell me what's happening. All right, huh? Tell me what's happening. What's happening? It's about all the own. From France? It's about all the own betting men from the all the men destroying their documents on you before they get in. Boarding the plane with documents, getting off the plane without them. You know what I mean? It's the same in England. And I'm sure you just said this couple of friends. It's the same in France, Paris, everywhere. The poor that are guilty in, in this glorified human trafficking is what I call it. Because if you look up the definition of human trafficking, what they're doing, it is. They're making a vast amount of money over the movement of these men. You know what I mean? It's happening. You see the riots in Paris, France. Not taking jobs. No, they're, they're coming here pretending to seek asylum, pretending to seek refuge. There was a gang of Algerians that came from France. Sorry, no problem. I see you later. Yeah, stuck up. Come. Check that bus as well. That car, the bus, Sean. Where is he? Sean, what was that like? Mostly men. All men on that car, don't fun. Car don't travel uh, bus there. Um, I, I was there having a conversation with a couple there from, who said they came from France as the car don't travel bus went by, but Sean said it was on um, Sean said it was just full of men. So it is what it is. So we're just gonna do we're just what we're gonna do here now folks is just ten minutes on, ten minutes off, ten minutes blocking the road, ten minutes not blocking the road. Just be free. Our street! Our street! Our street! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! The chair and parent say no. 40 of these immigrants, predominantly male, are undocumented and unvetted. Roy. An asylum application currently takes up to 10 months. Do we want unvetted men roaming our streets for this long? Absolutely not. No passport, Chinese no entry. In the red car, ah, you see the Chinese cunts in the back of the transit van yesterday in town and all as well. There's loads of them. Oh, he says to the couple, you're letting the Chinese come in this party and infiltrate the guard and he goes, so what? No entry! No passport! No entry! No entry! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ew. No entry! No entry! No entry! Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Ow! 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 Ow!
Andrew got Garmin. Ow, ow, ow. South Dublin says no. The whole of Dublin says no. That's what it is. I must make up here now and make sure Sean's all right. Be gone in a couple of minutes, yeah? Ireland says no, absolutely. Yeah, be gone now, two minutes, yeah? There you go. What was he saying? Oh, he's nothing. Was he not? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah. I'm just going up here to see what the story is. Let them know about the traffic. How long have we got the traffic for? I'd say we'd be here for about an hour. But I'd say if it's 10 minutes blocking the traffic, 10 minutes not blocking it, if you get me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. What are you saying? What are you saying? J. Go over, go over and ask him. J. J. Look, they give up. Look at boys. The dad's in the Jeep. I give him a stick. We walk back, boy. And boys, you wind, boys, you wind up your window. Yeah, look at this, look at look at this. They're after being given a stick as we were walking down and now they have their windows up. He's like giving us stick when we were walking down, you have to put your windows up. We all have fingers, mate. They were all giving us abuse. I mean we were walking, they were giving us abuse, they were. And now we're over here now, look at that windows are up. Look at <laughs> Here! Yeah! Yeah! The Jeep! No go! No go for the Jeep! Shot! Sean, block the jeep! Block the jeep! Shouldn't they let that jeep pass? Did you see that, folks? That when we were walking up the road, the four windows are down and they were giving us stick they were. And as soon as we turned around to walk back towards them, the, the, the four windows went up. You know what I mean? It does no grade I'm blocking them. Fucking cowards. No, it's not. Oh, behind it. I'm not the I'm not the organizer. Nah, no, don't relax. He's not. It's not. No, it's just women. Don't do much. They don't do much. Right. Now that's a that's a bone. So leave him. Leave them to it. No entry! No entry! No entry! No entry! No entry! No entry! No entry. Yeah, you shouldn't have let that jeep go, boy. A second ago, man. It's time to start block the fucking thing. Yeah, they probably are. They probably are. Say hello. I'm gonna find the hard now to get back across this fucking boat. Now, but look at folks, at the end of the day, right? We'll have a little chat here and we we'll have a little conversation. Feel free to drop a few, uh, to drop a few questions in there. Um, how do you feel? How do you genuinely feel about all this nonsense what's going on at the minute? Like you have our own, you have our own, um, not only lying on the streets, sleeping on the streets, but you have our own dying on the streets, folks. You know what I mean? Like, come on. What's our, uh, yeah, you're not the only one that's pissed off to Rome. I think we're all pissed off now at this stage. I think we're all overly pissed off. Corporal Duggan on the way down now, his boy. Yeah, let him. Let him. Because Corporal Duggan. Corporal Tuggan, I always call him. Tuggan. Uh, would have got a piece of my mind the other day if I had it went up. Furious Ireland is dying. I'm pissed off too, pal. Pissed off. It's enough as it was, exactly. Um. Yeah, look at, at the, the comments there, they're all 
we're all well pissed off at what's going on. Enough is enough. Yeah, that course. We're, we're all. Like it's not fair, like it's not fair on the genuine um the genuine the genuine Irish people that really really need the help. Um I'm not getting it. The the migrants and asylum seekers and stuff like that. I'm alone fear and I'm afraid of it. Yeah, no, listen. We're all afraid. I have a seven year old son and I have a two year old daughter. Um, oh, do we, when, even when I have the baby out in the buggy, oh, they'll be mad conscious. Now I'm on a bus or a train or whatever. Um, we're on a bus or a train or whatever. We will. Uh, I'll always pull the hood down on the buggy because I don't like it. Too paranoid with all this stuff, like all the people taking pictures and videos and all. I don't want them getting pictures or videos around of my, uh, of my kids. You know, so I did a hundred percent a great bunch out there with you. Yeah, they are. They are hundred percent. We're all the great bunch of people, folks. We're all the same. We're all parents. We're all concerned. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what else to say, really. And I absolutely hate when you have to say, I'm not racist. I'm not racist. I'm not Nazi. I'm not this. I'm not that. I absolutely fucking hate having to even say that, folks. I genuinely do because I'm not racist. You know what I mean? I'm not. But, <laughs> Cat attempted child abduction, Carol McCross this week. It's happening every single day. Every day. You know what I mean? Like, and I guarantee you, and where was that? Was probably walking down the fucking street or something, was it? You know what I mean? Like, a few weeks ago in town, I think it was Talbot Street or something like that, two babies were, were nearly taken out of the, out of the, out of the boogies. Out of the fucking boogies. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just. Like folks, I don't, I genuinely don't know. Like in my in my opinion, right, I'm not to tell you exactly. Right? In my opinion, I genuinely think, right? I genuinely think that um, the 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 uh, swinging Irish people around, baiting Irish people around, and um, but once these men come in, once their new UN and EU army come in, um, they're going to have no affiliation with the Irish, no connections to the Irish, so they will literally bait you black and blue. You know what I mean? Bait you half to death. That's my uh, that's my opinion on it. And anyway, so so that is boy design. Of course it is. Of course, but why? Like, why do they want to do this to us? Do you know what I mean? I have my theories and I have my opinions. I'm just looking for yous are answers now, yous are opinions. What yous uh, genuinely think, you know? But this is my first uh, YouTube live stream as well. So that's why I'm kind of interacting with this all as well, you know? Because you can't really do it on Instagram or stuff like that. Carrot McCross, County Monaghan. And believe it or not, if you watch the video that's on my YouTube from the Holiday Inn to the day, um, that's where he says they were sending them out of the hotel, up the Monaghan. That's why they were protesting. That's why the foreigner has the pro has the tent outside the Holiday Inn and get a queue lock there, is because they don't want to go to Monaghan. I couldn't get exact location in Monaghan where they were going, but he said about 40 minutes to an hour outside of the town. So it's the countryside of Monaghan. <laughs> I'd go up there right now. I'd live up in the, the countryside of Monaghan right now. It's fucking beautiful. All Ireland's country shows is beautiful, folks. But it's only beautiful to us. It's not beautiful to these men. They want to be in the hustle and bustle of the city. They want to be everywhere. They want to be with their friends. They want to be this and they want to be that. Um, the story of um, how far is it from Lil and Aldi? Where are you? Where, um... Hold on, I'll show you again. I'm not sure, is that, we're outside the... Uh, I'll tell you now, I'm on. Where's, where's Little and Aldi around here? Is there a Little and Aldi around here? What? No, because one of the girls just asked me how far are they? How far are they? Is there a Little... Oh, oh, oh! 
Keep it straight down. I'm out. Uh, this is where we are. For anybody that wants to come, this is where we are. See, obviously, because I'm not from around. Not where the Odeon is in East Wall. Look at Go to the Odeon and walk straight up this road. And that's where they are. But I'll get back to Anchins in, uh, now in a second. But, um, yeah, like you were saying, guard are recruiting the migrants. Yeah, 100%, absolutely they are. They are, uh, who? Who? He walked the port from the valley. Who? He did. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, who? Yeah, literally who? If there is people at, uh, if there is people at the airport, or at the airport, if there is people at Little and Aldi, um, yeah, yeah, literally only two minutes away. Let's go down again. Let's look at. Wouldn't mind leading, jumping into that. <laughs> No, absolutely not. We're literally two minutes from uh, what two minutes from the tree arena we are, yeah? Hundred percent. But um what I was saying. What I was what I was saying anyway. Um what were we saying? Yeah, Monaghan, yeah, most of rural Ireland folks came back to it. Most of rural Ireland, I'd live in it myself. I'd move to it in a happy way, yeah. You know, but these men don't want to go. I did say to someone yesterday in the comments, I was trying to find out exactly where I'm on and they're going. But if you're in the chat there now, I couldn't exactly find out the exact location they're going to. But it's apparently, um, it's apparently about 45 minutes to an hour outside, outside the town. So, uh, three minutes. Ah, uh, listen, three minutes. You have seen all the protests happening all around the country, so you should expect to get caught in one sooner rather than later. Bring it to the doll. We've been there already. What's happening up there? What do you think? Fuck all. Why do you think we're here? Blocking the port. Yeah, so it has to be done. Fair play, it. Fair play. Yeah, but what I was saying there, uh, hold on, I just flick through back through these comments. Yeah, that's another thing I actually wanted to uh, yeah, well, there, oh, sorry, there you go, Carrick Macross is a small town I'm on and it's destroyed. Please find out if you can. Carrick Macross is 40 minutes from Monaghan town. Yeah, that's probably where they are going, folks. Carrick Macross, like I said, I'll try and get back up to the Holiday Inn um, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I'll try and group Monday or Tuesday. And I'll ask them where, exactly where because I did actually, someone says to me last night, Try and find out for us in Monaghan, please. Um, I ain't so proud to be. I'm not I'm so proud. I'm reading the comment. I ain't so proud to be here, Kevin. Where are you? But um, what were you saying? Carrick, I'll try and find out, but definitely, but it definitely sounds like if there's already abductions happening in Carrick Macross, then that's where they'll probably. Uh, that's probably where they're going to go. Up where the rest of them are, unfortunately. Look at Shani over here waving the traffic boy. Look at him. <laughs> How much are you getting paid by the hour for that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's there waving all the traffic. Bless him, boys. Bless him. <laughs> On the chat. Yeah, because I'm at me looking down there. He's like, where is he? He's not there. He's fucking gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> now Edgy! I'm one thing in our here as well, they're all English Reds cars as well. English and Audi Reds cars as well. You know? But um And we're gonna take a stroll down here, see what's going on. Sean the legend. <laughs> Listen people, I'm telling you now, and you hear the hear first, right? Sean's the next Sean's the next uh, well not the next. Sean will be the youngest leader of this country in its history. In years to come few years down the line. Few years down the line, Sean's gonna be running this country folks. Mark excuse me, Mark my words, you hear the hear first. Sean's gonna be the youngest ever T shock in this country. I put my life on it. He's in the air, he's in the right hands and anyway, just put it this way, you know what I mean? Just gonna take a stroll down here. Navin says no to open door, dangerous policy. Tomorrow, Sunday, at the Bull, 2 p.m. Peaceful information, drop, love the support. There you go, folks, there's another one. Navin, Navin, boy, Navin, says no. To open to what? To open door dangerous policy tomorrow. Sunday, the 2nd of April at the Bull, 2 p.m. Peaceful information drop. Love to support. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm just going on a little wander, folks. Just, you know, see what's happening. We fell off that. I'll get back up now. I'll have a look. Uh, I'll have a proper look now in a minute. I slipped off. I wasn't expecting that poxy thing to be wet, to be honest with you. I'm not the slipping off it. And the old yoke, the way it just extends out. <laughs> Isn't it? But, uh, can't see that and anyway, what are you saying? You do not mess with them Northern Ireland lads. What Northern Ireland lads? You mean the four Northern Irish lads that were giving us abuse in the Jeep until we walked over to them and they put their windows up? Them Northern lads, you mean? I'm so impressed with your stand, 100%. 1000% better than non Irish EU, Poi Poipers, non Irish Poisonous Patriots. The old Articultural College just outside Monaghan Town is probably where are looking for your immigrants, Kevin. You would be surprised now, many Ireland's men agree with us. Now, now open the Monaghan Cross McGlynn. But look at, here we are anyway. Down here, he couldn't do a worse job than the T shock. That's there. They were a million times better than that smelly gay cunt that's there. Let's put it that way. You know? But I wonder what's on here. There's a lot of like, building work. See all this stuff here, right? I've noticed there's a lot of underground walks going on around there. Uh, around the town, especially around Dublin. I've noticed there. Uh, and even on the Bell, is it the Bellcard Road beside where they're building that new Amazon headquarters? There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of basically roadworks being uh, under the ground. There's a lot of work being done underground. Like I heard some people saying, um, "That's for fucking like." Uh, see, I'm stuck for words now. That's. Basically, like technology that to be able to spoil, you know, and it's all basically supposed to be tied in, tied in with these new 15 minute cities. All the narrower, uh, the narrower driving, like, like going into uh, people for the for people of Dublin, especially for the people of the north side. It's not cool, like, or whatever, going into town. When you come down the Malahoy Road and you take that right, just that fair view there, um, you take that right, just that fair view. That used to be two or three lanes wide each side, now it's one. You know? All right, bud. Homeless? Yeah. Are you homeless? Yeah. Am I? No? I'm just saying you have there with your pot and your pan and everything else. I just want to ask you a question, that's all. No need to be smart about it. 
Oh, there is homeless. Look, there's his tent. So. Sorry? You got a degree on it? Yeah. I'm what? Why? Why the cheek? Why the cheek? Well, all I've done was ask you a question. That's all I've done was ask you. I don't have to go anywhere. This is Ireland. I, yeah, I can walk. I can walk and talk and record wherever I want. So, yeah, I will, yeah. Do you want me to end the recording? Drop her off of here and come back down? Do you want me to go back up, drop the stuff off and come back down and talk to you? No, no, I can fuck off. No, I can't not fuck off. This is, this is my country. Yeah? These are my streets. I will fuck off nowhere for nobody. Sorry? Go ahead where? Go home. This is home. It's a bit ironic you're telling me to go home and you have a Northern Irish accent. Yeah, did you come from Northern Ireland? I come from Dublin, Southern Ireland. This is, these are my streets, these are my land. You're telling me to go home. You're the one that's from the north. You fuck off back up home. How about that? Knob jockey. Do you hear that fucking ass weep telling me to go home? And he's, he's sitting, he's, he's, I wouldn't mind, he's homeless, yeah? From Northern Ireland, he's sleeping at Dublin Port and he's telling me to go home. <laughs> yeah, Quiven, that's me uh, name in Irish, yeah? Quiven McGillaquill. Kevin Coyle. Quiven McGillaquill. Careful of the noise. Careful of the noise. But the yellow red does not pick him up now. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to say, there's a couple of yellow reds. The same there's a naughty fella there sleeping in a tent, but you're not dropping back up north now. Blue go. <laughs> and the currents. Oh, she was coaches. You wouldn't know with them cunt. But, um, yeah. Interesting to say the least. Oh, yeah, I just went to ask him, was he homeless? And he started getting smart and he started telling me to fuck off and go home and everything else. Which I thought was funny. Why don't you go fuck off home for yourself? I was like, oh yeah, I'm home. I said, that's a bit ironic, I said, it's coming from a man. <laughs> I said, it's coming from a man who's speaking with a northern accent. I said, would you not fuck off back up north, no? Do you know what I mean? Fucking ass wipes. Yeah, there's a naughty fella sleeping in a tent up there. Someone pick him up and bring him back up north, which is really not welcome down here. Look at the amount of yellow reds. All going to a match or something, yeah, yeah? That's all your man said earlier on, yeah? Your man said earlier on. I have to get to the fucking match. I don't give a fuck where you have to go to. You madman, yeah. Go on home, illegal migrants, go on home. Have you got no fucking country of your own? No entry. No entry. No entry. No entry. Yeah, and now there's a naughty fella. There's an naughty fella up there, yeah, he's sleeping in a tent, right? Oh, yeah, asked my homeless, he started telling me to fuck off, no, and then he started telling me to go home. <laughs> an naughty fella sleeping up there in the tent, that would be telling me, go home, go home, go home. Like, how ironic, now a big naughty accent on him, go home, go home, go home. You know? What a Kevin. What? What a betchy, what a betchy. No passport! No entry! No passport! No entry! No passport! No entry! No entry! No oh, Jace, you have a wolf wolf. No entry! Leo, Leo, Leo! What's wrong? What's wrong? Leo, Leo, Leo! What's wrong with you? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Who's big? I'm tempted I'm tempted to rub it. <laughs> no more, no more. Look, I got to rub the dog, me. I had to get the beer off. <laughs> Don't pull now. Four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. Someone count us down for four minutes there, folks. Come on, give us a fiver. What a bet, he's Kevin. What a bet. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah, woman, yeah, I stay. Leave your name, Mr. Kyle. I don't want to speak to you. <laughs> I'm not being paid to be interviewed by you. Well, fuck off about yourself. <laughs> the woman outside, yeah, the sergeant, the dick, last night. Oh, yes, they had the department of housing. I don't know, Kevin Kyle. I'm not hurt to be interviewed by you. <laughs> I'm not paid, she says. I'm not paid to be interviewed by you. I'm going to bite your business. <laughs> but you found there. I found it a bit funny to be honest because literally as soon as I got there, no intentions of speaking to me, no intentions, right? But as soon as I turned around and pointed my umbrella at a bloke that was trying to put his phone in my face now, five of them swamped me, five of them surround me, you know? Yeah, all right, Shani. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, him, that, there's the traffic warden. <laughs> He needs to get a fucking stick next. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get a stick. I want to look like an orchestra. <laughs> oh, there. What are we saying there? Who's in the Who's in the comments? Nair, 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 brain, K. Catch your ship on. <laughs> she called you Mr. Kale. She didn't did. She didn't did. Smart meters are a big no. Uh, that's what I'm actually saying here on it until I got there. Uh... Oh no, look at this. Yeah, but like I was saying, <coughs> no interest in speaking to me about anything. And I just wanted to ask her first, is it alright if I jump that gate and uh, go in and ask one or two of them a question? And she was like, Kevin, you're asking me, can you jump a fence and trespass? I was like, yeah, I am. Because they're all doing it. I just wanted to go in and ask a question. But then, right, if you actually watch the video, the video is on my Insta, uh, on my YouTube, yeah, Kevin Coyle. 4726, well obviously these are all on it because they're watching a brain dead spastic cunt. Um, I might have forget what I was saying now. What was I saying there, folks? Kevin, you're doing great work. We're all behind you from fingers. Thanks very much for them. Um, my love affair has kind of died down with fingers, to be honest, because of their. Uh, there's been a lot of snaky stuff being going on, you know? Um, I was told, I tried to get into the WhatsApp group, I was told uh, I was told that no one from Kewlock is allowed into the WhatsApp group, or no one from outside the Fingless is allowed into it. But yet there's loads from outside the Fingless into it. But they had no problem when I was out there and I was staying out. Uh, they were fucking... They had no problem basically when I was staying out there overnight and everything else but that is what this the handful of people that were feeling this that will give me love and support it a hundred percent all the way but at the same time there's certain few people that are just not nah, don't do my own thing with them from now on you know but then um, we have the party pupils have arrived the party poopers have arrived the party pupils have arrived have yeah. they I don't know. Uh, to him, he, he, he looked at all the time he is. What chance was it? Go on home, illegal migrants, go on home. Have you got no fucking country of your own? So a lot of Chinese communists in the back of that there is. How are you, guards? How are you? It's brand new. Brand new, this fella. Brand new. Lovely. Bad out there, isn't it? Asher, look, you roll the punches, good and bad. Huh? You roll the punches, good and bad. You roll with the punches? That's it. You're doing good, you're doing good. A day off from giving the police house to folks. Huh? I'll have a friendly chat with them if they want. If they don't want them. <laughs> da dum dum dum. <laughs> Ash Sheets! Ash Sheets! Ash Sheets! Ash Sheets! Ow, ow, ow! 
Will you vote Fianna Fáil or will you me me hall? Or will you me me hall? Did someone grab me brolly? They did. That's the good brolly. They did that there. Oh, oh, oh! Fianna Fáil! Yeah, 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 the hall! Green, green yeah, 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 the ball. No pass, Say, say, say that again. Go on, that was a good one. Green, Fianna Ford. Jay, 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 the ball. What's the fourth part? Blue shirts, greens, Fianna Ford. Jay, 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 the ball. That's it. Love that. <laughs> oh, blue shirts, green shirts, Fianna Ford. Jail, 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 jail them all. <laughs> Yes, I love it. I love the crack, boys. I'm not that kind of crack. I love the Irish crack. The C R A I C for the <laughs> that one. Crossfit draw that. I know. Only five minutes, yeah, five minutes. That's your man. That, that's your man that was camping outside the GPO. He's mad things and got moved on. I never see that big police van that's there now. The big police truck. That's there because of him. <laughs> Well, not because of him, but it's there to stop him and a couple of the lads that were there protesting before about it. <laughs> Dave, we're on the hunger strike. How long were you on hunger strike for? Hunger strike, uh, 14 days. You're on hunger strike for 14 days? 14 days Sitting in the tent outside the GPO. Yeah. yeah, and he's got bleeding manhandled. We got moved out of there, gone. But yeah, now the police van that's there now yeah. is to stop other people stop from, other protests, from doing yeah. it. You know what I mean, folks? It's fine out of order. Hunger strike. They were He's coming up protesting. kicking the tent. Yeah, who was it? Your leg you stood all over. I was in your mate's leg. My mate's leg. Your mate's leg. Oh, I've seen that. That was nasty, folks. Now, when I say nasty, I mean nasty, no nasty. Fair play to brother. Fair play to. No entry. No entry. No entry. No entry. No entry. No entry! No Look at you, you big Monty head. Give us one of them. What are you eating? Jelly. Jellies. Double drop of, well, double drop of you with jellies. Not for saying Lent anymore, huh? Oh? No Lent anymore, huh? Lent? <laughs> What's Lent? Would you like one? Don't be lying for me. <laughs> Would you like a jelly? No, right. Oi, they're not poison, are Lent. 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 When is Sunday, Lent? Lent hasn't started yet. Lent hasn't started yet. Has it? Has Lent oh, started? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, what? It has started. When did it start? It's nearly over. What? It's nearly over. Are you? <laughs> have me just first taking the piss out of me. Leo, Leo, Leo! So Lent is nearly oh, over. Yeah, another week to go. Easter is next weekend. Who thought oh, Lent starts on Easter? <laughs> no, it finishes. Who speaks Axie? Who speaks Axie? Who speaks Axie? Who speaks Axie? Watch this, the man told you, get the open ears in the house. No passport, no entry. 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 No <laughs> All great, right, mate. Good luck. <laughs> this is the end game. This is what this is the end game. This is what we want. Who? 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 No passport! No entry! No passport! No entry! No passport! No passport! No passport! No passport! No passport! Peaceful protest, boy. Hey, We're protecting our kids as well. They're protecting our kids from being in the fucking car. Now, come out, I'll tell you what, though, my two year old has nearly abducted by four Georgian men who came into the country illegally. Do you know what I mean? So that's why we're here. My two-year-old was nearly abducted by four Georgians who committed the country illegally. They were staying in the sea west. My Mrs. Santa Child was followed by four of them. Have you nothing to say, no? Nothing to say, no? Same way. It's typical. People say. Did you see that? Did you see that, folks? Did you see that, though? As soon as I told them, why I'm here, as soon as I told them about my child nearly abducted, he shut that 
and went on up the road. See you later. See you later. See you later. But did you see that though? He was standing there giving me abuse. I have kids to go home. To. I have kids to protect. I said, so do we. I says, my two-year-old is not on you. I said, my two-year-old is nearly abducted out of the buggy. How about that? Hunt down, walk off. It's the same. It's the same at the airport last week. They're scum, you're this, you're that, get a job. And I just, I have a hearing on me, yo. You know what I mean? See a man at the front, throw him out the window there. Yeah, the so window I, just said, there. I just went that to them last time. I said, look at that's why I'm here doing what I'm doing. I'll shoot them out and walk off. They had to throw a bottle of water over to the women there. Did he? Some point in the van. Brave man had to throw it over there. Yeah. That's, see that, folks, when he was going off, he threw a, threw a bottle of water at the ladies over there, he did. You know? This is what you get. Your man says that, uh, I have to go home to protect my. I have to go home to protect my kids. I was like, so do we? I says, come in and tell you. I said, what about my two-year-old? I said, what about my child? And then typical. As soon as I go to tell them the story about my child, they shut them out and walk up the road. Oi. That's what it is. I'm not racist. I, I just want my family and my children to be safe, and I do everything I can to protect them. Simple as. Bro, what are we dispersing, are we? Yeah. Bro, yeah. Yeah, brother. Hey. We're all Irish, brother. Stunts. Bob. Definitely. Right, folks, look at it. We're going to leave it here now. Good enough day. An hour and 52 minutes on the live, of Jesus Christ. And we just topped the max there. 80 people, 70, 80 people watching. Thanks very much, folks, for the love and support, yeah. Oh, there's my friend. There's my friend. Look. How are you guys? How are you? Kevin. How are you? And I'm not giving you an interview. Today. <laughs> I told you yesterday. Yeah. I'm not giving the interview by you. I know, but I only just wanted no. to ask you one question. Yes, they was. If they were all, if they were allowed to jump the gate and trespass, I just wanted to ask you one question. Could I do it? I am not you know what I mean? paid to be a I'm not paid to be here to talk to you either. I still am here, you know what I mean? Silence. See that, folks? See that? And that's the woman I'm after being telling you about. From the second I got there yesterday, she didn't want to know, right? But as soon as someone tried to come to me and approach me, and I stuck the umbrella in his face, four and five of our little cronies were on me straight away. And I wouldn't mind, it's not, it's not Kevin. It's not Kevin, it's Kevin. You don't spell, you don't pronounce Kevin like you're saying Q, like a snooker Q, snooker Q, Evan. Kevin. It's not, it's Kevin. K E V O N. But that's the one I was telling you about yesterday, and anyway. Yeah, but anyway, that was the one that I was telling you about. The one that literally from the second I got there, she's like, ah, oh, well, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. And she wouldn't want to speak to me. But as soon as, thank you. But as soon as, um, as soon as one of them came to approach me and got smart to me, or put my umbrella in his face and hold on five of our crownies, not jumped on me. Oh, she fancies me. She's having fanny flutters over there. She's oh, there's Kevin again. There's Kevin again. Oh, there it is. Thank you very much. She's over there having the fanny flutters. She is. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's Kevin. There's Kevin. Legs. He's like, ugh. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck off. You see what you was being doing to me, is cunt. <laughs> but now, look at folks. I'm going to leave it here for now. Dublin Port. Relatively successful day so thanks thanks very much for all the county Kevin <laughs> look at folks thanks very much for joining me on my first live stream on YouTube probably going to be my last now after all that <laughs> no, but look folks genuinely thanks very much yeah oh yeah I love you and I leave you and I'll chat you on the next one Aaron Gabra Ireland forever you pay all that